Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers and I'm starting out a little bit different today, but I am starting out with a 32 ounce plump that's been sanded. This 32 ounce plump is from the Steel Magnolia. I love these plumps wrapping with vinyl because the bottoms are so easy to get the vinyl around the bottom of it and there's no taper on these. So I love using these and actually this 32 ounce plump is perfect for a 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl and this vinyl is from the vinyl cottage it was actually a freebie Friday that April had done I guess a week or so ago and it just inspired me to go ahead and do a Halloween cup you guys have been asking for some fall designs so I thought you know what let me go ahead and start with this vinyl pattern and when you get these vinyl pattern sheets from the vinyl cottage they do have a white border around them where they've been trimmed down so i just go ahead and cut that edge off with my cricut cutter first and then i lay it on the cup just to make sure that it's going to be pretty square here and since there is no taper it's pretty easy to get lined up and i've just trimmed off a little bit here so i can lay it on the cup make sure that it's square and then continue on pressing my vinyl down and once I've got it lined up pretty straight on the cup and it seems to still be square when I wrap it around, I'm going to go ahead and just pull that right there, the backing off, and then I'm going to allow the pressure of me applying the vinyl to the cup to take the backing off at the same time. And this is from the Vinyl Cottage Shop. I'll have it linked in the description box below. This is MBC01. And I found that if you're searching for vinyl patterns that somebody has recently used, usually I go in and if you search for pattern vinyl and all patterns and then if you sort on April's new website by newest to oldest, you'll usually find these patterns that we've used recently or that she's recently added to the website. So when I go to her page, that's how I prefer to search for vinyl patterns. Um, just It just seems to be the easiest. And this is NBC01. I will have it linked for y'all. It was the freebie Friday that she had a couple of weeks ago and I just thought it was so cute. And then just one other little thing, once you do click on the pattern that you're looking for, it will give you the option to choose adhesive or heat transfer. So once I've got it pretty well wrapped around the cup, you guys, if you see me wrap a vinyl cup, you know that I'm gonna lay my piece of painter's tape down. So I'm just gonna lay it down right offset here where you can see there's gonna be like a little bit of overlap just so I don't ever have the stainless steel showing through on the cup. I'm not the, I cannot cut a straight line, so here we go, <laughs> that I'm going to, I need something to press my craft knife against as I'm going to um, make my seam down the side of the cup. And then here I'm just trimming off the excess, and then I'm going to go down and press that seam down really firm here. You can see I just press it down where it's got a good little ridge where I can just run my craft knife right down the edge of it. And then any little air bubbles that you see, you can just take the tip of your craft knife and just basically touch it and then press it with your finger to wipe those out. Then I'm just going to trim off. You can see the craft knife runs pretty smooth just right up against that tape. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to see than other times, but usually your knife will just run right down the edge. And then I'm going to pull my tape off, and then I'm going to go into trimming off the top here. And I do, I mean, I'm just going to press down, and if there's any little areas that look like here that they want to you know that the vinyl wants to pull up a little bit i know that i've just learned in the past that it's easier just to go ahead and trim off any of those little pieces that look like they might tend to stick up once you go to put epoxy on it so i didn't leave very much at the top here so i'm just pressing it down very firmly around the top rim just to make sure that there's not going to be any little places that that the epoxy is going to get up under and cause the vinyl to rock, lift and then i'm just going to go right into trimming off that top edge And then I am going to go into wrapping the vinyl around the bottom. Sorry here, I got out a little frame, just a little bit, but you guys can still see. I'm just pulling it really tight around the bottom of the cup. And these plumps are so great. Again, I know I say this every time, but they're so great because they have that little ridge inside the bottom where you can basically just press the vinyl around. And I'm just making sure to use my left thumb here, or whichever one you want to use, to press the vinyl around from the side to the bottom of the cup as you're pulling it. And then I just take my knife and just run it right along that little ridge right there. It's so great. The vinyl will lay right down in it. And then I just take my fingernail. You can use whatever your, you know, your one of your little tools to press it down if you prefer. And I'm just going through making sure that it's laying down flush around the side and the bottom. And then I'm going to go in and use a layer of quick coat. So I have started wrapping my vinyl. If I do a full vinyl wrap on the cup, I've started taking a little bit of quick coat here and just applying it to my vinyl just to make sure that it seals the bottom seam and the top seam and just gives it a little bit of something for my layer of epoxy to adhere to. 
and it doesn't take very much and this is a sealer it's not an epoxy it's quick coat from counter culture and then I just use my silicone brush to apply it and then I'm gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna go into a layer of epoxy here because I am gonna do a power wash over this I did want to apply a layer of epoxy so that wouldn't be directly on my vinyl and I'm using counter cultures medium viscosity artist resin here and I've mixed up for this 32 ounce plump it takes about for this first layer I wanted it pretty thin it took about 25 milliliters so it's a pretty thin coat this is has a lot of surface area <laughs> that takes up more epoxy than I think it does sometimes so I do use about 25 milliliters just for this thin little layer and so I'm just going to apply this to the cup I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles very carefully just because I am over the vinyl just kind of run a quick little run over it with my torch and then I'm going to let this coat dry for about six to eight hours before I move into my power wash and then after I've let that coat dry for about six to eight hours I am going to go in and do my power wash and my thoughts on this cup were to do it similar to the Jessica Flynn from Flintsters Boutique's Gypsy Leopard. So I thought, let me make my swirl kind of go around where on one side you just see the swirl, on the other side you kind of see the top and the bottom. But I'm going to do it with the power wash as the background. So I am going to do several layers of this. So I just apply my Dawn dish soap on the power wash and then I'm going to go in with Rust-Oleum's 2X Seaside here. So I'm going to apply several coats of this. Because I wasn't really sure how much it was going to take me, but then I knew that I wanted a pretty consistent background because I am going to go in and paint over this. I wanted more of the power wash shown in the background versus the vinyl. So I do a coat, I rinse it off, and then I, I do go in with a rag and kind of just touch it to dry a little bit before I go back in with my power wash and do another layer of paint. And then I do go in with the second layer of the seaside paint here and then I'm going to rinse that off. I'm going to dry it again. Just kind of, I just took the towel and just kind of tapped it. You don't want to rub it or you're going to smear your paint. And then I'm going to apply my power wash again and then I'm going to go into this pink. This is from Montana Black and it's called Pink Cadillac. It provides pretty good coverage here so I make sure that I'm just doing little short bursts of this one because this is really pigmented. So I'm just going to use this color once and then I go back in and do a power wash one more time and do a little bit more pink on this. So you probably end up getting more like a fuller coverage than you normally would uh, with a power wash but just because I did want it to be pretty, uh, I did want the coverage to be pretty good on here because of the design I'm going to do. And then I let that dry for about an hour. I just kind of happened to sit it over to the side and then I printed off this bat pattern and I'm going to go in and just randomly, this was just like a file that I pulled offline and just printed these out and I'm just going to randomly apply them up the cup. So instead of doing leopard spots this time, we're going to have bats. And then I did want to point out that you guys probably noticed there was some overspray from the pink paint onto where the areas that I wanted it to be pretty clear over the vinyl. So I apologize for not recording it. It was just kind of an afterthought that I took a paper towel with some 91% rubbing alcohol. And I just went in a circular motion over that area where you can see that it's pretty clean over the vinyl because I did want you to be able to see the vinyl better in that area so instead of there just being a straight line where I went there and wiped the paint off I did just kind of take it and go in a circular motion where it looked a little uneven and then I went right over the power wash with my vinyl decals just because I'm gonna paint these and add some glitter I didn't want there to be an unnecessary layer of epoxy really and these stuck fine to right where I'd laid the spray paint so I just go in put them right over there there's not a layer of epoxy here I just put them right on the power wash And then after I've got my little vinyl bats placed, I am going to go in with these Arteza acrylic markers, the black one. And how you can see on the vinyl, there is a turquoise area that has little circles on them. So instead of doing the leopard spots, I decided that I'm going to do kind of a circ circular motion here with the markers that mimic the circles that are on the vinyl. So it just kind of flows a little bit better. Um, I almost want, I wanted to do leopard spots, y'all know I did, but I was like, you know, I'll just kind of make it go with the flow of the vinyl. So I'm just going to add some little circles here just to mix it up a little bit.
And then after I've got the little circles drawn on here with my marker, I am going to go in and glitter all these little spots and bats. I just had in my mind that I was going to do it as the same steps as I would the Flynn Sisters Boutique's Gypsy Leopard design that we all know and love. And so I just thought, you know what, I've got to glitter these little bats. So I'm just going to take Peachy Olive Glitter's Clear Adhesive here, and I'm going to put it in my medicine cup. And then I add a little bit of black uh, acrylic paint. This is just Apple Barrel. I think it's from Michaels or uh, Walmart. I'm not really sure. Just any black acrylic paint. And then I just take a small angle brush and I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to apply glitter to the little spots and to our bats here. And since this week my recording seemed to be off a little bit, you guys could have seen some really great footage of me walking around my house when I actually thought that you were getting a recording of me glittering the leopard spots. So I thought I was pressing stop when I was pressing start and vice versa, so I apologize. I do glitter the spots and the bats with Peachy Olive Glitters Oak and Shield. This is a beautiful, rich color, kind of in between a silver and a black. I just thought it would flow better with the vinyl than just doing a straight black. So I let those glitter spots dry for about 30 minutes. I took a dry brush and just brushed off any excess glitter and then I did apply a coat of uh, Mod Podge's Clear Adhesive Sealer Spray and I just sprayed that let it dry for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to go into a layer of epoxy here and I do mix up about 30 milliliters of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. I'm going to apply that to the cup and then I'm going to let it dry for about four to six hours before I go into my next layer of epoxy where I'm gonna add my turquoise and pink swirls to it. And then after I've let that coat dry, I am gonna go in with another layer and I mixed up about 45 milliliters of epoxy here. I'm gonna apply about 30 of that to the cup here and then pour the rest of it into smaller medicine cups that I can mix my paints in with. So I'm just first applying a pretty thin coat to the cup here, and this is medium viscosity. And then I'm gonna use my torch just to pop any bubbles really quick before I go in and apply my epoxy with the acrylic paint in it. So I am gonna go in with Caribbean, this is another apple barrel paint, and this is a Mondo Llama, and it's called Magical Pegasus. So those are the two colors that I'm gonna be using in my paints here. And then I'm going to mix them in, and it doesn't take very much, just a little dot of each, because you can see it's going to get really stringy if you add too much. I wanted it a little stringy here so I could pull it out, but if you add too much acrylic paint, it'll get so stringy that you won't be able to lay it on the cup. So I usually go in with my darker color first, and I'm just going to lay that around the cup, and then I'll come back and use my little silicone tool to kind of swirl it a little bit where it doesn't look like just straight lines. So it's just something that I kind of have to work with. If you guys have seen me do this before, you know, I apply it and then I kind of go back in and work with it. And then you can see any little areas like that that kind of aren't going in line with where I want them to. I take my finger. I apologize. I'm pretty bad about that. You can definitely take your silicone tool and just wipe off any areas that are kind of going the wrong way from the direction of how you want them to on the cup. And then I'm just going to take my little tool here and you can kind of see I'm just swirling them out, breaking them in, so they're not just like the straight lines. And then I am going to go in with my pink and basically do the same thing. I'm just going to add little accents to this one. I definitely wanted the turquoise to be my dominant color on the swirls, but I do go in and just kind of right in the middle of where I laid the turquoise, apply the pink. And then I'm going to go in and just add just a little touch of glitter here and there. I'm going to use Peachy Olive Glitters Sugar. I always love this color. It has a little pink. Uh, mix in there with it too so it's kind of a te teal and pink so I knew that I wanted to add this one just to add a little bit of depth to the cup and then after I've applied my glitter I am gonna let this coat dry for about six to eight hours and I've just this is a decal from Bear Trends Digi Designs I saw her post them on her Instagram the other day and I was like oh I've got to have that file to go with my uh, Halloween vinyl so I'm going to use a teal glitter as the background and then more of a gunmetal black on the top. So these are from the Vinyl Cottage. I will link them in the description box below as well. And I basically just wanted it as like more of a three by three. I wanted it to fit right in the swirl over where I've painted the bats. So I'm just going to apply that to the cup and go into my next coat. 
and I'm going to go in and just apply a little bit of countercultures quick coat again just because I did not want that chrome vinyl lifting from the glitter vinyl that's underneath there so I just didn't want any issues when I go to apply my next layer of epoxy and so I do kind of spread that out over the cup. I applied the most of it right over the decal, but I just do kind of spread it out so it'll be even on the cup. And then I'd kind of forgotten to apply the bottom here. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it on this coat or the next one. So I just cut out a circle in Cricut Design Space, and it's 2.82 inches in diameter. And I just applied that to the cup. And then I let that counterculture uh, quick coat dry for about 30 to 45 minutes before I applied the bottom decal. And then I'm going into my next layer of epoxy here. I am using Counterculture's Artist Resin Medium Viscosity here. And I've mixed up about 30 milliliters and I'm going to apply that to the cup and then I'm going to let this coat dry for about six to eight hours and I'm going to go into my final coat which will be another 30 milliliters of medium viscosity artist resin from counterculture I love this stuff so much I'd really been hooked on the, the regular artist resin and so I still go back and forth but on a cup like this where there's not a lot of glitter I just have been leaning more towards the medium viscosity so I love both of them definitely different uses for me but anyway so then you're gonna have your final design I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, I had so much fun working on this Halloween cup I haven't sure I'm not sure that I've gotten into the Halloween spirit yet because it's uh, over a hundred degrees in Alabama but you guys were looking for fall inspiration so I hope this provided a little little bit for you thank you so much for watching i hope that y'all enjoyed it please go like share comment all that fun crazy stuff so you don't miss my future tutorials subscribe and thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all again soon and before I forget, y'all make sure to join my Facebook group, Dixie Darlings Tumblers. We have so much fun in there. I go live every Sunday night, and uh, we love to see what your creations are. So we love for you to share there. I love to see what you guys come up with. So again, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all again soon.